Hey everybody, it's Jenna Malone. My website is jennamalonecreates.com. It's down in the description. And today we're going to do a review of Team Treehouse. So before we get started, I'd like to go into a little background of myself and why I chose Team Treehouse as a platform to learn on. So I came from a design background. I went to school for graphic design and I always gravitated more towards web design over print. And after a while, I wanted to learn how to take my web designs and actually turn them into a functional web page. So I played around with different assets, um, different resources before Team Treehouse, but I didn't really take learning code seriously until I started with Team Treehouse. And I heard constant reviews that were great, um, success stories. They have a lot of commercials with success stories. And I, and from what I saw, they looked like a really great platform to learn code on. I believe they're very good for beginners. They definitely have a way of explaining the content in a way you can understand if you're a beginner if you've never touched code before it's a really great platform so okay so i'm logged into my account at team treehouse and let's go over the different plans that they have so the basic plan is the one that i chose it is the cheapest option and it's 25 dollars per month and what this gives you is all the um all the videos to watch you got support from the community which is a forum that they have right here so if you ever get stuck you could come here and you can ask a question and every time i've asked a question here someone has gotten back to me with an answer within like a day um, maybe sometimes two days. So it's very responsive here. People, the other students are very helpful. You can also get a pro plan, which, um, has talks from industry leaders, has some bonus content, and you could actually download the videos for offline learning. So that's pretty cool. Um, in my opinion, it's not justifiable for double the price, but hey, if you want those things, go for it. Then they have the tech degree program. This is the program that I wish I could have taken and still wish that I can afford to take. But unfortunately right now I can't afford it, but I am going to be doing a one week free trial with this and I'm going to post my progress along the way, and I'm also going to do a review of the tech degree after I complete my one week free trial. So what this does is you're actually building a portfolio of 12 real world projects and they are graded and you get personalized feedback from not just students, but, um, but teachers and industry professionals or something like that and it also says that it helps you build a resume a professional network um, it's got step-by-step -step curriculum so it takes you in order of what you should learn first and then what you should learn next it's got its own exclusive Slack channel where you can go and ask questions. Um, it's got a final exam and you actually get a certificate, something to actually show on your resume, which might be good considering you're a self-taught developer. I think this is really great. To me, it's kind of like an online boot camp, and I, I really would like to go. I can't wait to start it a free trial with them. I'm going to do that maybe within the next couple of weeks. And these are all the things you got with it. You can do 
there's a couple of different pathways you can take. So you can go into front end web development, full stack JavaScript, iOS, and Python, which is pretty freaking cool. Honestly, I wish I could do these three iOS full stack JavaScript and web development. So that's pretty cool. And what you're going to get out of it is you're going to build a professional portfolio that you can add to your, to your, um, to your, to your website so that you could show other people, look, I built these projects. So it's kind of nice that you're learning and building at the same time and getting feedback because that's a major thing being a self-taught developer is getting feedback. Oftentimes you won't know or get feedback until you kind of learn on the job about best practices. Um, you know, usually you would probably learn that stuff from a senior developer about best practices. So this way it makes you a lot more job ready. And I think if you'd like to come out of Treehouse being job ready, I think the tech degree is the way to go. This looks really cool. So let me show you what I took with Treehouse. <clears throat> the pathway that I took is called tracks and there's all different tracks and pathways that you can take. So there's ones geared towards JavaScript, WordPress. You could take a web design track. The one that I took was front end web development. And what this does is it groups different courses together that treehouse things that you should learn um, in order. So it starts out with the basics, which is just HTML. It's very simple, not um, difficult at all. And they do a great job at really explaining um, code to beginners. They make it very um, easy to understand the way they explain it. They speak very slowly. Sometimes you gotta um, put the videos on a little faster if you are bothered by how slow they're going, but they're going slow for a reason because they're geared towards teaching beginners, people who have never touched code at all. And yeah, so then it goes into CSS basics. So you got the first two courses, which is HTML and CSS, and then you go right into JavaScript, which is pretty cool. Um, that's pretty early on. So JavaScript basics, then it goes back into CSS and it kind of bounces around. So you got responsive layouts, you learn some uh, frameworks and libraries like Flexbox. Then you go back into JavaScript. It's really cool. Um, my overall review of this track is I think it's great to get a start. I would, it took me about a year and a half to complete this track. I, I would try to get it done within three months. That way it's fresh in your mind and it's a great way to get a beginning. Will it make you an expert and will it make you job ready? I think that depends on how much discipline and how much practice you put into building projects as you go along. So what my recommendation would be would to take the first three courses, which is how to make a website, CSS basics, and JavaScript basics. And in my opinion, I would take these three courses and then I would try to build a project on your own using the skills that you learned from these three courses. Um, if you need to take like a month or so off from doing courses, I think it would be really beneficial. I think that the way to really be job ready after taking these courses, since the courses don't go into too many advanced topics and a lot of them are the basic courses, I would, I would definitely 
practice projects and building projects as you go along. So if you don't have the money for the tech degree program, even though it looks really great, why not pretend like you're taking a tech degree program and build projects as you're going along? I really think that that is the best way to learn. So I'm going to wrap it up. I don't want to make this video too long. I want to apologize because I hadn't made a video in a really long time. And I've just been going through a lot of shit. And life just got kind of crazy. Um, it's been some ups and downs. Definitely been a roller coaster. But I want to start posting videos again on um, somewhat of a regular basis. I don't have enough time to do this all the time but i want to do it as much as possible and i want to share my journey of learning how to code but because i've done coding landing pages for web design positions before but i've never had a, a full-time front-end web developer position so i'm so I'm still in the learning process. So I'm tracking my journey as I go along, as I'm learning to code. And I will document my mistakes so you don't make the same mistakes that I made as you go along in your journey learning to code. Like this video if you thought it was helpful. Definitely hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot. And like this video. And make sure to leave a comment. Like, let me know if you've taken Team Treehouse. And if you did, let me know what you think about it. All right. Bye.